Hi, my name's Charlie and I'm a sheep farmer from Meriden near Warwickshire and we are in the middle of our lambing. So at lambing time, pen hygiene and colostrum management are absolutely our two biggest priorities. So there's a couple of things that we're doing here to make sure our lambs are getting the best quality colostrum and also enough of it. So we're keeping a close eye on them in the first few hours after they're born to make sure that they're up and suckling and getting that belly full. We're also providing ewes with the nutrition that they need to make sure that their colostrum is of the best quality. When they use a lambing, we're also drawing off a couple of drops, a tiny bit, of each ewes colostrum just to test on our bricks refractometer to make sure that the sugar levels in it are high enough. Now, whilst it won't test everything in the colostrum, if the sugar levels are high enough, generally it indicates that everything else within the colostrum is of a good quality. So this is the refractometer and we're testing those couple of drops of colostrum just by putting a couple of drops of the colostrum onto this measurement screen here. Then we'll look up into the refractometer and check the scale. At the moment this is empty, it's got nothing on so you can see the whole screen is that tiny, is that kind of tinged blue. Now let me show you what happens when I put some water on here. So this is the refractometer with water on it and you can see there's a very, very definite line at the bottom of the screen along the 0% mark. That's because water has 0% sugar in it, so I can confirm that the refractometer is reading correctly. Now let's have a go with putting the colostrum on there. So we have a couple of drops of colostrum on the screen. I'll just flip the lid over and we'll have a look. So the colostrum is on the end of the screen on the measuring plate and I've lifted the refractometer, the camera up to the refractometer and looking through you can see that there is a difference between the bottom which is white and the top where it goes blue. Now where it starts to go blue at kind of around 28-29% is the reading of the percentage of sugar in her colostrum. So she's got a fantastic reading of around I'd say 29% which is absolutely great. So we're looking for readings that are 22% at the very minimum. Anything lower than that, and we will be supplementing with either a powdered colostrum or some frozen colostrum that we have in the freezer. Um, we haven't had a U that's been less than 22% so far. We haven't had anything that we've needed to supplement, which is absolutely fantastic news. But it's really, really worthwhile keeping an eye on that just to make sure that all of your lambs are getting the colostrum quality and quantity that they require to survive.